Hey everybody, Acrophobic Monkey and Voodoo here. Voodoo. Hello. There he is. So, Dolphin. Uh, dolphin. Ugliest looking dolphin I've ever seen. I am the sexiest looking dolphin you'll ever meet. No. So yeah, welcome to episode four. We, well, Voodoo's got a new headset, so there might be some sound differences between this episode and the next. We are, we have spent the last sort of two hours trying to set it up, but um, no. we're kind of happy with it. I'm pretty sure the last the last episode we did had this headset in. Yeah, I know, but we hadn't properly set it up, so I'm not sure we didn't mention it last time that you had a new headset, so better to mention it, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll all work out fine, and we can all obviously edit sound levels and stuff in editing. Yeah. Um, we just need our voices to sort of be the same. Well, yeah, I can. So, um, the sugar cane is growing like absolute crazy, which is strange. Because on our last server, it took ages for it to grow. Maybe it's just the biome we were in. I don't know, but I've never had sugar cane grow this fast before. Uh, yeah, every time we come out, it's pretty much over at level 2 or level 3 for all of it. So, I'm not quite sure about that. See, that one just grew in front of us. Maybe we won't need a zero tick farm, but... Nice to make one. We got our cows, which are no. This this gives me like super hard high to feed. A zero tick sugar cane farm. I have made um. Really fast. Oh right. Oh yeah. Yeah, we still will have one, but it's going to be nerfed anyway. I can't feed these cows. So I've made the stuff to make a better cow thing, so I'll actually raise them up to make it easier to feed and breed them. But there's a few in there at the moment, not enough to start killing them. Killing them though, so I have to work oh, on that. We will also... Right Let's kill them this way. Well, we can do. We could say that ops in the lava so close. But um, here yeah, we've got our chickens. Yeah, there's quite a few chickens in and out. Uh, yeah, get a few more. I would say about eight, if not more. There we go, that should give us a couple more. So we have been chucking uh, the eggs in here as well. I mean, Did an got... actual adult chicken die? Because there's a chicken in here. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Possibly. So, you basically, you just take the eggs as well and then open up this and get your eggs and throw them against the back wall. And every once in a while, you get a baby chick. There we go. There's one out of eight. Yeah, so one out of eight, not great, but sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. It's just random mods I think, I'm not really sure. So yeah, there's the sugar cane we've collected so far just from collecting like, second and third to see this is all grown already. It's nuts. Um we've got the carrots and stuff that we planted from the village last time, which is nice. We've got a bit more meat, we've got some bread from the hay bales which we turned back into wheat. Uh but today uh, I think we are going to start clearing an area or a bit more of a better setup than this Wrap a little hole in the ground. Uh, let's go and have a little look around, shall we? Yes. We did, um, sorry, I should actually show you the mine, should we? Should I mine? Oh yeah, you have mine, yeah. So obviously we showed we were starting this on the last episode and we've dug it right down to bedrock 11.11 and level 15, which are our mining levels at the moment. We might do some other branches later, but these are the best levels. Um, so this is 15, you can see we've dug quite far, uh, level 11 is even worse, we've dug miles down these ones. And we've yeah, we've had a plan, when we've like, done a tunnel that's gone far too far, that when you come back to the actual the branches, we'll put a block, second block in, so that we know that we don't have to go down that one. Yeah. So we don't keep getting lost. Or maybe just a little sign or something saying that it's done. Yeah, just something there. Mind out. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we got. Uh, we'll show you what we got. We got eleven diamonds though, which is not bad, not great, but not bad. And we got all this stuff here. So we got four diamonds left because we made a diamond pick, a diamond shovel, and Voodoo's got a diamond axe. I've got yeah. some bits on me to make the cow wrap a little bit better, just to make it easy to feed them and breed them. And then obviously this is the other bits. We've got a lot of redstone, which is nice. Um, quite a bit of lapis, so we can start enchanting once we get that far. Um, but yeah, let's head out, shall we? Find some places to live. I want to make a village. Well, I want you to build me a village so I can build it, put in villages. 
Well, we're definitely going to have all that. At I mean, do we just start point. clearing this area, or...? Well, I kind of want to see what, what's here. Okay, it's an open area. They got a hill. You got a hill over there that leads to the jungle. You got the mountain that we spawned on there, the hill that we're currently living in, and then a slight hill over there in that corner. Oh, mountain hill spawned over there behind us. Yeah. Our little hill that we live currently on that side, which is north, ish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that side. There's another hill that leads round the bay over there. Oh, yeah, there's another bay around there. We saw it ran around the other day. And then that's the hill before the jungle, isn't it? Over there in that corner towards the sun. Yes, Which I means believe so. that way, uh, towards the sun to the right a little, is the beach that's there, which leads across to the villager town. Yes. Maybe we should head that oh. way then and have a look. Yeah, let's have a look that way. We could build around the coast there, then we've got easy access to the village. Yeah, you can have a coastal, the coastal village and then branch backwards then. Well, attempt to branch backwards. Yeah, over here? It should be. It should be a beachy hill. Oh, well, here we go, yeah. There it is. It's like a little island there. Attached to it, attached partly. Yeah. You can have a lighthouse or something. Rubbish on there. I don't know. Yes, yeah, that would be a good idea, actually, yeah, having a lighthouse on there. You could just stick some of this hill out, because it is quite tall here compared to the actual beach, so you just stick some of this out and push it back a little. Yes. Uh, didn't oh, quite realise it. Oh, yeah, there's the axe at work. So now that we've got a diamond axe, it just takes the whole tree down straight away. Yes. What Very it did nice originally, um, when you literally chopped the, bo the bottom block, the whole thing would explode, and the leaves would explode into millions of particles, and have a, a, an annoying sound for each leaf that was broke. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, I that was the different data pack. I was testing this in single player uh -huh. first on uh -huh. a single on a single different load up. Um, so I had to find a different one, and then I came across this mod. I can't what it's called now. I think it's called Tree something. Tree. Tree, tree fella. Masters. No, Tree fella. I, I I went against it because it didn't have an option to um, disable the sound. I see. Um, so I think this is called Tree Capacitor, I think. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I think you're right. I think we should probably head back and sleep. Yeah. Oh, you're not a sleeping bags, do we? No, not yet. See, Minecraft people, Mojang, they need to add in sleeping bags. Is sleeping bag a mod, then? I think so, yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh, zombie villager just spawned right here. Really? Yeah. Normal zombie. I don't think zombie villagers spawned off of they were created. Yeah, so did I. Right. Um, killing the villager. Uh oh. Start heading back towards base. Give me your head. Give me your head. Give it. Your bomb hole. Oh, Go he's got a shovel. Coast and have a little look as well. What's going around? See, we've got a nice warm ocean here, so it's got a lot of coral and stuff in there. It's nice to look at. Oh, be. I think this was a mistake going this way, now I've got to swim round. Oh yeah, you left your boat over here, didn't you? Oh dearie me, what will you do? It's alright, it's not far. I can see... I can see the house from here. Look, there he is, I saw him. Oh, that was a crap jump. There we go. And back in the water. So we've got a lot of kelp as well here, which is nice. We did harvest them last time, which is in this... No oh my god. Enderman. Gilly with an enchanted bow. Enderman, Enderman. Really? Yep, I'm going to get him. I'm going to die. Oh, right. No, I'm not going to die. It's only you. Okay. I think... Oh, I, I messed with them. They're not, they're not Ooh, happy. Oh, I just got an enchanted bow. It's power one on it, and it's literally one shot from breaking. <laughs> so it's great. You, oh, is that two endermen on you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've, only, I've got one enderpearl. Very good. Oh, creeper. Coming. Stay over there. Right, I'll just swim across towards you. I've got him. Two this pearls. Gravel. Very good. 
It will say as well. Oh, sugar cane is stupid. It's great. I love it. It's great. Really, really fast. It's fine by me. Make some sugar. Make lots of cake. Oh. Not so far. We set up the smeltery so you just dump your ores in the top chest. It filters them down through the hoppers into the two furnaces. We're currently using dried kelp, lots of it in the bay. Um, that gets fed into these side boxes, which then feed the fuel into the furnaces, and then it all gets fed through into here. Then you've got some dried kelp there. Uh, and then, obviously, the resources we're keeping there. Uh, sleep? Sleep? Yeah, it's done it. Oh, okay. That's why I can't sleep. Oh, look, burning skeleton. So is it worth like this hill in front of us digging that out to clear the path towards that area? Um, so it makes much difference because you run towards the cows, it's pretty much flattened out. It's not that bad. Yeah. I just legged it from over there, so. Yeah, you die up there, zombie. And yeah, they go left a little. Don't creep it behind you. Oh. There we go. Get wrecked. Stupid creeper. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, so uh, I'll clear out these trees here. Yeah, if you start clearing out the trees, I'll start digging some of the dirt to level out a bit. Yeah, so we want to try and get a bit of a nicer setup going now. Get some of the basic materials that we need, which is nice. I'm not sure what, you, what build, um, materials you plan on building out of, so... Uh, to be quite honest with you, neither am I. I'm not used to the vanilla texture pack, so... Oh... Take a bit of yeah, experiment this, this to see what works. Yeah. See, this is new for everybody. Well, that maybe, maybe not the viewers, but... New for us. So I typically use, um... Chroma Hills texture pack, which I absolutely love. Although Voodoo doesn't quite like that, hence the reason we haven't used a texture no, pack I, in I, I don't mind it, it's just I just don't like the way the tools look and the UI. Everything else, the blocks I like, so... Yeah, the blocks are lovely, some of the blocks are amazing. Especially the chest, the chest looks really good. Yeah. I like the way some of the, um, I think the furnace, I think it's the furnace. Yeah, furnaces. We did test a lot of different texture packs and shader packs when we were setting up the start this series um, a lot of vanilla ones just increased to like 128 by 128 or 64 by 64 and things like that um, yeah. didn't particularly like any of them and it drops your frame rate so bad when you've got the shader packs yeah no, I, only have, I only have a, a 1070 so yeah I mean I've got uh, a the frame job was huge. RTX 2020 and it uh, 2080? 2080? 2080, yeah. There you go. F3 and you can see. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah the 2080. And even I struggle with frames when I've got high resolution texture packs and the shader packs on. So we did decide against it in the end. It was... <clears throat> Worried me as well because I was using a texture pack before and Voodoo wasn't. When I was building things, I wasn't really sure how it looked for him. It looked good for me, but I didn't really know how he was seeing it. So, uh, at least this time we're on equal footing. Yes. Um, I'm going to put some chests down here at the, the coast. But I'm on the oh. next level down here yeah, on the sand. Yeah, I'm going to. It's worth setting up an AFK fish farm today so we can uh, try and get some mending books and stuff. It would be nice. How far do you want me to go with this? Uh, well, we don't need a massive area at the moment. We can clear more as we're going. What's more the materials that you want? There is jungle nearby. I might go over and get some trees. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Some spruce would be nice too. I quite like the spruce. 
Bruce was the other way there, wasn't it? To the north. I think so, yeah. I think, did we get some trees? Yeah, we did get some spruce, yeah. I'm not taking everything out, I'm just sort of landscaping yeah. back to... Um, it's kind of why I want to take out the trees, because they've taken out the trees. You can see it. Well, you can always replant, so you can take out as much as you want. Oh, well, that's a good thing. I forgot to, I forgot to mention it. Um, the mod, the mod, the data pack for the tree is that if you just hit it normally, it'll destroy it all, yeah? Right. But if you sneak, it'll destroy the block. Oh, okay. Certainly. And it shouldn't destroy if, uh, any logs that are attached to your building. Ah, okay, yeah, we did have a problem with that before, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We were. I'm pretty sure the tree fella does it. Oh, right. Yeah, if you built so, like a large structure out of logs and then hit the bottom one, all of those logs yeah. would go. And it was rather annoying. I was, um, I, if it does, then the, the solution around it would be to turn it on, uh, to sneak to chop down the full tree in one go, and normal would chop down a block. Uh, I see. So it, there, there is multiple ways of doing it. I don't mind sneaking to chop a tree down. It takes a second. Yeah, I think um, concrete will probably be a major part of the building, just because of the That's nice black colours of it. Sand, gravel, sand, sand and gravel, yeah. Sand and gravel. I wish there was a way of turning big stacks of the concrete powder into concrete straight away without just placing it next to water. Yeah, it would be nice. It would. It'd be a way to um I wonder if a dispenser and a piston. Just move it, wouldn't it? Well, that's what I mean. You got a uh, you got a water flow sitting not two blocks away from the piston, and then the piston's fed by another piston with blocks of I don't know. You destroy it though, maybe not. You'd have to do it yourself. Yeah, but it'd still make it a bit faster. You wouldn't have to place it. That's true. I think we can have a look at it anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure if there is any more my concrete farms around. Maybe look at. Never seen one. But, uh... Yeah, that's a good point. We'll have a look. For some reason, I've come across two of these trees now. But they've Bridge. not actually destroyed. Oh. It, uh, yeah, it's... Is that connected to another tree, no? It was, yeah, but the other tree exploded, but this one wouldn't. Uh. Bit weird. Actually, here's some dog dirt to fill some of this in. Got, you've got birch and all sorts here now. Cool. Which one's the really orangey block? Is that acacia? Yeah, acacia. Oh. Uh, so we want to keep the water here because I quite like it. But we're going to actually expand it a little bit. That depends on what side you, you decide to build this time. Uh, I think the series should be pointless. called Building with Acro because what's going to see me do it? I'm not a very creative person. I don't want to make a car, really. You, so you don't really like it, do you? No, I don't mind building. It depends on what it is. I'm not very creative. There you go. Yeah, Maybe I... we can. the audience can set some challenges for Voodoo to build. Oh, poop. Uh-huh. No. I'll keep, keep your mouth shut. Now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's have a build-off. All right, I've, I've lost already. That's good. Okay. I, mean, I, I don't think you'd instantly lose. Yeah, I would. Depend on what the project was, it could be saying I'd be absolutely shit at. 
So, like, like what? I don't know. Steampunky stuff, or I was going to say future stuff, but after the last Minecraft and future's kind of a good thing. Well, so yeah, it, well, it wasn't like futuristic. It was a modern build we did. Yeah, it was modern with that one. Yeah, you made a power plant and a, a little warehouse to build all the stuff in. And a very nice um, all as well. Uh, okay, I didn't exactly do what I was. Did you not get infinite water sources? Yeah, I should do. Oh, it did, yeah. Let me. Yeah, it has to be a three, three, three cap. So one, one on the left and right. Put that there, and that there. There we go, that's better. Yeah, if you, you, you do it around the edges, three. it should automatically fill in. Uh, oh no, I need one in the other corner too, I think. Yeah. Okay, so these blocks here are just filled in automatically, so if you just start spreading them around the edge, they should automatically fill in. Oh, there we go. There you go. Remember, remember, you can do it every other block. It should work. Apart from the corner line. Yeah, well, that's the problem because most of them are corners. No, that's true, yeah. Um, I'll yeah go that back one's to fine. Uh, is it worth building the bed and just bringing it over? Probably. Ah, now I can take it from there, even better. That is, oh no, over here. On there, put that, there, put that. It obviously has, but it just looks weird against that block. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Bit more light, which is nice. Bring my bed over. And then. Which I totally didn't steal. Let us. Actually, let us fill that back up first. Ah, uh, commit. Oh, great. Two skellies. Yeah, uh. <laughs> skellies. Oh, can be hey, filled in. Nope. Yeah, I'll help you. One sec. That's great help, thank you. It's alright. Anytime. Can they turn this into a, into a giant pond of fish? Well, yeah, if you get make another bucket, you can go and cast tropical fish and put it in there. Oh, that's too much effort. <laughs> I'm on the air for entertainment value, clearly. Now you're here for the uh, rump work. <laughs> so that's what I was trying not to say. I'm not here for all the manual labour. Ah, uh, here you are. Don't delude yourself. <laughs> Gotta go get some more trees. It's over there somewhere, I know it is. Under a tree, the Buddha didn't cut down. Ow. Being chased by a skiller. Good. Uh, let's do that, and then. Did I. Oh, that is not the button I wanted to press. Oh, I didn't bring any sand, so let's grab a bit of sand. And let's eat. <laughs> Oh, that's a weird noise. That's a weird noise. Uh, breaking that jungle tree. Oh. That is a mighty big jungle tree. Come here. Yeah. It's all the, um, the vines breaking on it. Ah, uh, I see. Is that yeah. also? Are they the only saplings I got from that? Back. Dig some of the sand out. 
I'm not just going ham and digging everything. I just want to still make it look sort of natural. Doesn't look like it's all dug away. Best way to do random is literally just to swing him nice around, jump about. <laughs> nice. I'm replanting the jungle tree afterwards as well. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Could always plant one closer. To... Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, I'm and this get some really big, thick ones. Should be enough for we'll need. The cave there. And that oh. into a little grotto. Uh, I got you a few stacks. Parrots and ocelots and whatnot in here. There should be parrots and ocelots, yeah. Get rid of that, because we don't want stone showing through the grass. Right, so we've got a bit of an area. I've not seen any yet. Thinking a warehouse. A warehouse? Yeah, so we'd have the docks coming into the bay, and you'd offload into the warehouse from the ship. Okay. We have to. We have to have a really good looking dock. Though. Crap. Um. Yeah. The lighthouse be there. I really want to use this area of the bay. Oh, that's clay. Maybe. In fact, definitely, it's going to go here. Then the dock will go out across. Maybe we'll even build a ship there. I don't know where I am. Oh, you better work it out. If you want to get home. Nope. Figured it out. Shut up. See? I can Minecraft. You can mine, but you can't craft. <laughs> yeah, because the UI sucks. <laughs> 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 See? I'm here. About time. Took long enough. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to dig this back more, I think. Yeah, I'd help you, but I don't have a shovel. Yeah, if, you know what? I hope Mojang is preparing new features because I, I, I would really love a sorting inventory feature that we do in modded. Yeah, it's strange you don't have a sort feature in your inventory. It is. Anyone knows the reason behind that? Do let us know. Yeah, more Django idiots. Oh, yeah, that's probably the answer. A game where building and crafting and gathering is a thing, and there's no such thing as assaulting inventory. That's stupid. But then again, the game is old. Which is me, in fact, that gives us no excuse then. Yeah, there were enough people who have asked for it in the time it's been out. Yeah. I like Maybe it's just us, because we don't like messy inventories and boxes. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure there's like a million other people that I feel the same way as well. Yeah, true. Let me people play Minecraft. Um, uh, I don't actually know. And yes, I know there's, there's a cave a, underneath. Yeah, there's a there's coal. I love that. There's a lot of it.
put this bit back too. I'm not going to dig all of this away because I kind of want to sort of block the view of the warehouse and the rest of the town. So I'm digging a bit away from above it. Do we have enough dirt to fill it? Uh, I've got quite a bit on me. That. Oh, I've got. Oh, of all the burnt saplings I just cut down, I've only got 28 saplings. I think I'd chop down more orb than anything. Get some dirt. Yeah. Oh. Duh. I get filling a hole. I hate this part of the job. Okay, so I don't like the squared shape of that there, so I'm gonna just this edge off. You've got to be a shape all in there. That looks a bit better. Down to and cover up the stone. Actually, put those two back. Yeah, I don't think I've got enough dirt for all this, you know. I actually think this is going to have to be a lot bigger now. Actually, I wonder. Ooh, okay. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. Put some more dirt in. Ooh, ooh. Yay. Is that all you got? Yeah, some stone as well if you want to pull a little bit of stone. Oh, yeah. Right, so this will be the warehouse. Uh, have a look what blocks we got. Jungle wood. There you go. Oh, creepers be right behind you. Creeper, 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 creeper. Oh, oh, oh. You never know when them blowing up or stuff. Ah. Oh, I don't get some of that sometimes. 
They blew up when you're so far away from them. Creeper spire. Pain in the butt. Any dirt left? Uh, yeah. You got that in for me, please. Uh, let's quickly sleep before any more spawn. Some over there already. Well, we're at 35 minutes, so I think really? we'll end this episode here. And we'll start on the next one. Obviously, we'll be making the... What I'll probably do is prepare a load of blocks between this Even episode and the next. Layout. And then, yeah, maybe work on a sort of perimeter layout area. And then you guys can come back when I'm actually doing the build. See how it's getting on. So, we shall see you on the next episode.